Welcome back everyone to another Hearts of Iron 4 Nationalist China Revolutionary Reorganized Government Etc Episode And this time We are being attacked by the evil Japanese imperialists and So we must defend ourselves from the evil Japanese imperialists In any way possible Now I am I thought about this And how to do it uh, throughout the course of the couple of weeks in which I haven't been unfortunately present in terms of the YouTubes. And uh, I have reached the conclusion that uh, I cannot hold Manchuria. And I need to get the fuck out of there. Also, yeah, this is probably not... It's probably not good. We cannot... Uh, we cannot take out the Shanghai's right now. And also, I am trying to send an extra division down to Fuzhou. I'm not sure if I did this on screen or not. But I'm trying to send down another unit to Fuzhou because that's being attacked by Japanese Marines. That's Legation City, so I have no idea whether or not they can hold or not. So uh, yeah, let's try to advance further towards Ningbo and try to seal this gap before it becomes a bit of a problem. And now we're going to try to take out Tianjin as you may have remembered from last time. And hopefully none of our troops will be trapped up here. I don't think the Feng Tian troops will be too quick to follow us, but you never know. Anyways, oh. How annoying. How annoying that that tank division is moving forward. Uh, then we shall wait until our units are a bit higher organization before we go in. Actually, one thing that I could do is to fight the tanks. I could take the committee zone and duplicate it and make it... Uh, because I cannot... I do not have enough anti-tank units or anti-tank guns to get my entire army equipped with that. But I can make so make it so some of my divisions are, right? Yeah. Like, for instance, these three... Anti-tank, do we have enough? We don't have enough towed anti-air, but we have enough anti-tank, so... We now have... We now have some anti-tank divisions. And those can be, hopefully, used to destroy... the enemy armor, and at least inflict some casualties on it. Uh, alright. Don't move around. The most important thing out here is to... No. The most important out thing out here is to uh, retake the port of Tianjin and make sure that the Japanese do not have any way to... Make sure that the Japanese do not have any way to get their forces supplied and so we can actually uh, hopefully take out all of these divisions. And hopefully take out all of these divisions and yeah, just... Crush the pocket before anything happens. Which should not take that long. Alright, it's time for you to retreat, my brave soldiers. I'm gonna send one extra division down into Wenzhou. Huh, actually. Actually, I might be wrong. I might be able to break through to Shanghai after all. We'll see. I'm not so sure about it, though. Okay, so these are the AT divisions. Uh, how about we give them a different symbol so that I know what's going on? Oh. Uh, well, I mean, I'll be fine. Yeah, okay, they're attacking me. Can we pierce them? No, of course we cannot. <laughs> that's unfortunate. <laughs> that is what We can pierce 65%. Okay, that's, that's already That's already quite good. I like that. All right, then we're going to get a flanking attack going, and hopefully we can reach the port before anything bad happens. We have reached Tianjin, though. And that is absolutely crucial. That is absolutely crucial, and we're going to try to smash these Japanese divisions that are now trapped in a pocket as early as possible. 
的，长官。And hopefully our front line against the Manchurians can hold long enough. Uh, we definitely need as many troops as possible to head into the port here to prevent that port being captured by the Japs. All right, there we go. And pull some more attacks down onto there. All right. It is rather unfortunate that the armor division still has quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of strength to repulse our attacks. Okay, let's reorganize the armies in a bit of a better way. I would say. Uh, shit, do I not have? I was like, do I not have military access? There we go. Let's send our troop. Oh shit, we also need to garrison Shanto somehow. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I don't have anything ready to deploy. I don't think I won't have any. I don't think I will have these units ready to deploy for a long, long while. Anyway, oh, apparently Tianjin is now back to the legation cities. That's kind of weird. It's kind of really weird, to be honest. Anyways, very good. Uh, yes, more artillery upgrades. We should also. Oh shit, we should have done the anti-tank upgrade actually. Uh, yeah. I really did not expect the Japanese to have tanks, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, I would really love this pocket to be destroyed. Uh, I think it's time to also clear out the battle plans here, because they're doing more harm than good, because all of my divisions just kind of want to move around for no apparent reason. And our attack out here kind of failed very epically. Oh shit. No, I don't want you to attack. Yeah, they sent in reinforcements to Ningbo. That is a major problem. Yeah, this whole Ningbo area seems to be definitely not ideal. Um, in one day we'll have our commander as well, which we right now do not have. And that's certainly not giving us good uh, Certainly not getting us good bonuses, so yeah, we need to get rid of that situation as soon as possible. At least we have encircled, they should be out of fuel. Yeah, they're out of fuel, so the tanks should be quite useless up here. At least we have encircled quite a few Japanese forces in the north, so that's good. Uh, and we're gonna try to fortify up these lines. as quickly as we can so that we can sort of hide behind the river I would say I, I, that's probably the best place to hold don't need that many forces over there all right let's uh let's leave perhaps we could slowly draw the enemy forces in and make them make them run out of supply or something I don't know it's uh it's looking really potentially problematic around these parts. We will need to wait. We will need to wait a long while for these coastal forts as well. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, a lot of our priorities that existed before this war started have now been really shifted to sort of the war effort. So yeah, okay. All right. Really, this Japanese division is still standing. That's kind of annoying. It's good, however, that we are pushing back the Japanese from around here and around the coast. And now the pocket south of Tianjin is going to be eliminated. So that's going to be hopefully the security of Beijing insured. I just, yeah, just need to protect Tianjin as much as possible, I would say. Uh, how's uh, the southern front line? Oh, they're driving up. Where are they going? Oh, they're going down here. Okay. Actually. I wonder if we can even break one Japanese division. Um... 
Hmm. Yeah, no. How about... How about I give you a defense order? Somewhere ridiculous to where you won't go. Yeah, like up there. Are you going to get planning bonus from that? Hopefully. You should be getting planning bonus from it. Because this army is now assigned to an order. I guess. So you're at 0% right now. Are you going to be at... More than 0%? That's how the exploit used to work. Nope. Doesn't seem like it is that way anymore. Oh. Thank you for the land lease, though, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, these guys are not getting... Uh, not getting plan, plan preparation bonuses, which is rather uh, annoying. And if I do this, then it's going to put all the armies, which is even more annoying. Our, that's the naval combat. Okay, I was like, uh, is that a... Uh... I was like, damn, is that a... Uh... Is that a naval invasion? If there's anything I don't want right now, it's a naval invasion. I'm gonna send more forces down, for sure, though. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we just need as much planning bonus as possible. Hmm. Can I make it work somehow? Like this. That would be nice if you were to work and give me a planning bonus because that is that is like an advantage I cannot sort of ignore when finding these Japs at the moment. All right. I think we can finally crush this pocket, at least the tanks in it. Which is obviously the most valuable force that the Japanese have at their disposal out there. All right, then we're gonna complete the second level of fortifications. I don't think I'm gonna get really pushed that hard for Manchuria, but you know. Okay, I guess I cannot protect myself there in the open terrain, so I'm going to retreat. Are we getting plan bonus? No, we are not. This is rather unfortunate. I guess we can establish a perimeter or something. Huh. So they got themselves onto some mountains, then they have some hills. I don't know, this entire southern zone is the one that worries me the most, because I know I can hold the north, that's fine. The north is perfect. Oh, are they retreating to this? Oh no, they're retreating in line, okay. I'm like, are they retreating to the sea? That would be rather bad. All right. Okay, there we go. Huh. Maybe I could get... Maybe I could get the Mountaineers to fight in the south. That would be a better fit for them, probably. Because there are a lot of mountains around there. There are a lot of mountains. And let's send the Cavalry Division too. For outflanking purposes. So I would say the northern front is not as necessary right now. Uh, you should probably... We're gonna reorganize the commanders later. Because right now it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit of a mess out here. Okay. 
Losing trains to the logistics airstrikes. Oh, shit. Uh, how are we doing on trains? We still have 72 trains, so we should be fine on that. We could do some uh, military fanaticism. Yeah, let's do that. Let's increase our attack. We're gonna retreat there because they are moving inland. Um, please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing. Oh shit! Yeah, my divisions are getting fucking destroyed by this. Okay. This entire situation, as you may see, is not ideal, but what can you do, you know? Still cannot deploy anything, and obviously, like, deploying green units is really not ideal, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, good. The pocket has been destroyed. Very good. I get some of these guys to exercise, I guess. Um, so we're gonna have a northern army. Where is this division? Oh, it's like down there. Um, yeah, do that. We're gonna have a northern army. Uh, I would want these guys to be trained up a little bit. And uh, the Northern Army's task is going to be to hold off the Fengtian Click as much as possible. And uh, yeah, just sort of hold on to there. And uh, then in the meantime, oh, actually, actually shit. That is super important. Ah, but we're gonna, we're gonna lose this tile, fuck. Cause I fu I'm thinking that maybe we can do an encirclement, but it's kind of difficult. Actually, actually, my militia. Maybe the Japanese and the Ningbo front have advanced a bit too fast. Oh, and they're attacking us in Hangzhou now. We need to be able to hold these two divisions at bay for as long as possible. Uh, the militia down here is going to get there in two days. Very good. So once these guys get there in two days... That will have encircled this entire grouping of Japanese forces. And hopefully the tanks by then will already be out of fuel. Oh shit, the Japanese are actually bringing more divisions in. Um, Actually, the fight for this mountain tile is the most important thing, I would say. Is anything going on in the north? Nope, it's not. Nope, it is not. Good. I'm perfectly fine with this. Just take a slow pace of operations, that's good. And uh, eventually I can redeploy some forces maybe to the south, but eh, I still would rather want a lot of units to be in the north. Just in case, you know, they need to repel any kind of naval landings. Alright, more reinforcements are coming in from the north. And uh, are there any Japanese landings anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. We still need to cover Shanto for the bloody legation cities somehow, but actually, uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that with forces from the Ningbo front once that's resolved. All 
I need this tank to not be able to regain any org. Oh shit. Oh shit, the Japanese almost managed to get a reinforcement unit. 14 hours, as opposed to one day and 14 hours. Okay. Okay, yeah, we we've got it. We've got it, amazing, very good. We also need to hold Hangzhou though. Make sure that that does not fall to the enemy. And yeah, there are the tanks at least are already out of supply because they're not connected to the railroad anymore. That is very nice. Uh, let's redeploy some forces more to the south so we make sure that they cannot in any way, shape or form continue their advance. Okay. And now we just need to bottle the Japanese up in the pocket. We need to bottle them up in the pocket and yeah, I mean, they do have strong forces. Oh shit, Wuxi is also a problem. Uh, Wuxi is also a problem. I'm gonna try to solve that by sending more divisions from the south actually. Shit. That is rather unfortunate. Hmm. Not much action on the northern front, as we like it, I would say. Uh, I would think that once this army is trained up a little bit more, they're gonna need to go south to try to plug as many gaps as possible, because... Yeah, the south is really critical. It's not as critical as I would have thought it could be, but it's definitely not good. Man, this, this tank unit just does not want to die, even though they have no fuel. Uh, we should be able to hold the pocket, though, and that's going to be amazing. Okay, I can find the AT units right here. So let's get those guys up to destroy the Japanese tanks. That's going to hopefully be doable. All right, stop that and go again with the attack. All right, now we can get the militia to defend the mountains to the south. If we take Jinhua right now, we would be in a great spot because I think that they can get some supply from the victory point right now. So that would be perfect, I would say. And then actually keep one of these mountaineer divisions. Mountaineers? No, that's that's not a good that's not a good fit at all. Uh, it would be better to have an infantry division doing that, but yeah, let's have this infantry division go down to Shanto. Yeah, we still are not in a position to actually take down the pocket, unfortunately. All right, good. Seems like the situation has mostly been stabilized, which is certainly uh, certainly a sigh of relief for me because I was really worried about the whole situation. Um, let's check out the supply. Is everything going fine? Yeah, it's not ideal up here actually, but it's gonna be fine. The Fengtian Click is trying to attack. They've got some Japanese support, but eh. Not too worried about those guys. At least not right now. Oh. Where are you going, bro? Actually, maybe we want them to be moving. Because they're going here. They're going farther away from their friends. We just need to make sure that we hold the port of Wenzhou. 
and then we can crush the tanks on their own, which would be rather good. Alright, get ready for that, I guess, to begin as soon as possible. How long is it going to take for you guys to get around? Three days and three hours. It's perfect. In the meantime, we're going to start our attack on Jinhua. And I mean, despite the... Uh, Despite the obvious strength of the armor divisions, you know, it's... Yeah. We just have too many units. We just have a bit too many units for this guy. Um, I am kind of worried of the Japanese trying a naval invasion in Shandong Peninsula. That would be... That would be a problem. Actually, I would probably need to keep a few divisions in reserve in that area, because... Yeah, and also I guess we're gonna need to beef up the sort of farther south as well, but what can you do about that? Okay, get some of the AT visions in the fight. Okay, obviously, I mean, right now this is shaping up to be very manageable except for a bit of a scare around the coastal areas. So I would say we're in a kind of a, we're in kind of a situation that's analogous, I would say to the, um, to the real life ROC in 1947, when, when they're able to sort of bottle up the Japanese around Shanghai a little bit. It's actually kind of interesting how this sort of second sign of Japanese war sort of developed uh, because, oh, the enemy is called in the Fengtian government, really? The Fengtian government already was in the war. Um, I wonder if that's gonna make... We have 45% collaboration. Yeah, I know, right? But, unfortunately... Huh, we're actually inflicting some, quite some casualties on the Japanese. That's good. We haven't even taken that many casualties on our, on our own. It's just more of a question of um, equipment in general, I would say. Yeah, the equipment situation is really fucking terrible. Anyways, like, the, the second sign of Japanese war developed in a really strange way. With the Japanese sort of storming through North China and then just kind of pausing every once in a while and then storming through following the railways. Uh, but really, like, the main action at the beginning was in, uh, in the Shanghai area and then later Nanjing. Although, Nanjing fell rather rapidly after Shanghai, which is certainly pretty interesting. Certainly pretty interesting because uh, Nanjing was the capital, but like uh, the, the, the nationalist Chinese tried to bottle up the Japanese in Shanghai, and then eventually the Japanese just kind of realized that they could have just sailed around uh, the um, the Yansa Delta area. They just could have sailed around and landed further north and outflanked the sort of uh, best Jap or best uh, nationalist divisions, these sort of crack. Famous German, you know, helmet, German-trained troops that the Nationalists had that were um, sort of holding the line in Shanghai and were getting sort of attritioned out by that point. It was certainly not a very pretty or uh, modern way to fight war for the Japanese, at the very least. They could have done a hell of a lot better, I would say. Um, in Shanghai, they didn't really use a lot of their advantages. Uh, the later reconstruction. Oh yeah, right. There was a, there was also the whole reconstruction progress state of affairs. Uh, let's do let's do as many of these as possible. I would say. Um, yeah. So as many of these as possible. Uh, maybe something that gives me civilian factories? Yeah, the grain storage is in Nanning would be rather nice. But we're unfortunately not gaining as much political power as I would want. Okay. Right, the pocket down here is now officially sealed. But we really need to crush it and 
take out the divisions. It seems like the Shanghai area is mostly intact. And uh, yeah, the Japanese are trying to break out. I would definitely want to seal them, bottle them up like this as much as possible. So, uh... Yeah, Jinling. So maybe build up some forts down here. It, it is also a new economic policy zone, which everyone likes, I'm sure. Oh shit, we're losing convoys, no. I don't think we should be having our Navy on strike force out here. Um, maybe our Navy should be running away to the south as much as possible, because they're probably safer ports than anywhere else. And then uh, next time we're gonna be trying to activate our submarines to try to do something, but it's not time already. It's not time right now, I would say. Okay, there we go. There we go, the pocket around the Zhejiang Mountains is being closed. And I think with that, I can end today's episode as actually the enemies are attacking us on the northern front line and, oh, our our logistical network has taken a massive beating. Um, I think we should try to repair them as much as possible. Certainly not that great because yeah, our troops are... Our troops are right now taking supply damage or something. Although there is a, there is a supply hub in Chengde, which for whatever reason it's not enough to keep our forces adequately supplied. Like our, the, uh, the attrition right now is still not that great, so that's fine. Maybe we're gonna need to pull back from these two provinces out in the east. Anyways, with the um, sort of first scare of the War of Resistance, Having been overcome and our forces about to seal the first sort of really major pocket down in the south. Oh, naval combat. Oh, that's fine. That's naval combat. I was like, uh, is that a, is that a naval landing? Thankfully, it's not. Um, and with our units slowly but surely training themselves up and hopefully soon being in a better fighting shape than they are right now and better able to take on the Japanese. Uh, I am going to leave you guys. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you soon and take care.